How's it going everyone? My name is Divine and today we're going to be taking a look at a glitch currently available for all versions of this game. That includes PS5, Xbox, and PC. And this is allowing you to access to all four common rooms no matter what house you currently are. As you can see I'm currently a Hufflepuff in the Gryffindor common room so sit back, relax, let me show you how to do this so you can explore these areas before they get patched. Now that you're ready, let's bring up the map here and where we're going to want to do is click on world map and then come down to the Feldcroft region. So we can zoom all the way out to see all the different regions. We're going to look for that Feldcroft region. And then from here, we're going to zoom into that southeastern part. And the flu flame that we're looking for here is Irondale. So go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and teleport to Irondale. All right, so now that we've loaded into Irondale, what we want to do is go ahead and equip our broom. And now we're going to fly slightly to the right between this windmill and this other house. And the house we're looking for is straight ahead, and it has a white sheet on the outside. So what you want to do is kind of take this at an angle at the lowest point you can put your broom, and you'll see the corner of, that you can kind of clip into, and we can just drop in just that easy. Now, don't get frustrated. It will take you a little bit to realize where you kind of need to be on your broom and where relation to the wall. Really, you need to hug the wall as much as you can and have the broom as low as possible. And you'll start to notice that your character will dip just slightly. And that's kind of how you know you're almost in the right area if it's not working. N you know, just keep trying. It does take a little while to get. And then once you're kind of a master at it, it's pretty easy to do consistently afterwards. All right, so a little trick here is what we're going to do is bring up our map. You just saw that, and I'm just going to place a waypoint for the Hogwarts castle. So that's really going to identify where we need to fly under the map. It can get a little bit confusing of where you need to go. Um, as you can see, I have a quest activated, so it kind of throws you off. But having those waypoints really does help you out where you need to go and, you know, how far away you are. For some reason, mine's not telling me exactly how far we are. I think... From the starting point, it's about 17 or 1800, um, whatever units of measure away from the castle. So you are going to have to fly a little bit. Uh, there is a chance that you might run into an underground barrier wall. Uh, if you do, just go slightly to the right. And then also while you're flying, you want to make sure that you don't go too high. Sometimes you can actually clip back out of the out of the underneath of the map uh, and then you're just gonna have to start this all over again which really does kind of suck but have no fear we're just gonna speed up time here and get to the castle itself now that we've reached the castle what we want to do and while we're currently sitting underneath it is create a manual save point here this is done for a couple of reasons one there are points in this castle or going into the common rooms where you can really kind of glitch out your character and really be stuck uh, the other would be that if you don't want to fly all the way back to visit each of these houses, this is an easy way to just kind of load your character back to this point so you can go quickly explore all four houses so that you can see them all very easily and not have to fly this whole path each and every time you want to go see a different house. But totally up to you, but I would definitely recommend at least one save point under here before we start exploring each of the houses. Now that we have arrived, I am going to utilize this same starting area for all four houses so it's a little bit easier to follow along with this guide. You will know you're in the right area when you see those two characters just previously floating in the area of the castle ahead. So what we're going to do is just fly straight over here, kind of a right around that rock and fly up. Now this is going to be the Gryffindor common room. We'll know we're in the right place when we see the fat lady that's in the portrait. Fly just past her and now you're going to see a white square on the ground. What you want to do is basically just land on that square and boom. This is probably the most simple common room to get into. Um, and you can just go from here and explore all of what Gryffindor's common room has to offer. So next up we're going to go to Hufflepuff again. That same starting area. Basically we're going to almost go to the same path that we kind of went to Gryffindor. We're going to go right around that rock. You're going to kind of know you're in the right spot when you see the Great Hall off to your left and these green shrubs here for the Hufflepuff common room here. Now this one is going to be the most easily glitched wrong, but you just fly over to this rock and just simply land on it. Now... I have had multiple issues with getting into this common room this way. Uh, it really depends on where you land on that rock and whether or not it's going to glitch your character out. And that's why it is so important to make sure you have a manual save. And again, I did this as a Hufflepuff also because 
This top section is a girls only section, so I'm not technically allowed up here and there are chests in this common room up top that I could not get. So coming this way and getting into the Hufflepuff common room allowed me to get those chests. So we're going to load the game and go to the next common room. All right, so next up on our list here is going to be the Slytherin common room. We're basically going to have that rock that we keep flying past off to our right. Um, basically, we don't want to go all the way over, but we're looking for these arches here. And these are actually the windows to the Slytherin common room. All we have to do is basically pop up on that ledge and dismount our broom and boom, we are in the Slytherin common room. Again, this is a very easy common room to get into. And if you want to have a little bit of excitement, continue shooting at these windows to see a special little Easter egg happen. Now, I did get it, but not exactly at the moment, but we can see the tentacle for the underground monster in the lake. So that easy to get into the Slytherin common room. Let's head over to the most difficult room to get into, and that is Ravenclaw. All right, so same starting area here. We're going to basically fly almost like we're headed to Slytherin's common room, but you're going to see the base of the tower here, and what you want to do is just fly up underneath it and then straight up so you might get glitched there uh, just kind of wiggle around and you should end up coming up here and you're going to know you're in the right place when you kind of see this courtyard at the very very top here and then we're also going to know we're in the right area when we see these two posters and the set of books over on these walls now this is probably the hardest one to get to. Basically, you need to kind of come in with that top poster near the base of your feet. So you're kind of using that almost as like a area where you need to walk on top of the very top of that poster. Um, as we can see here, we just kind of try to dismount near the center of the room and you might just glitch right in. Now, this one took me about... I would say some cases, maybe five, 10 minutes to get into. This was a very good recording, so don't feel bad if it takes you a while. It does um, just kind of keep flying circles and trying to approach that poster and dismounting. Like I said, try to aim for that top poster. There is another way to kind of glitch into this room as well, but this one was a little bit easier than the other one that I did find. So just like that, that is how you get into all four common rooms, no matter what house you have chosen. Now, if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.